Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide and joined by Mrs Real Ale Guide for today's show. Hello everyone. And the reason why Mel is here today is that we've got sent a wonderful poly pin from the wine brewery and it's their Chili Plum Fairy 6.8% ABV described as a hellish good beer. Let's let that focus. I think you can all see it, yeah there you go. And it's www.thewinebrewery.co.uk. Check them out. Okay, without further ado, let's get you a do. Let's get you a glass of beer. Brilliant. Nice, nice. Yeah, nice. Wow. So what are we getting? Let's have a look. <laughs> it's quite low. Do you want a full glass? No, that'd be fine. Okay. Thank you. I take it straight up and show yep. you as it balances out. Oh, look at the head on that one. Look at it. Goes really quickly. See if you can get up there really quick to show them okay. how it clouds and it goes upwards. Well, I'm yes. going to then show you what it looks like in a pint glass. Now, this is their Christmas beer, I believe. Chili Plum Fairy. Yeah, could, I mean it could be a could be an all round beer if I presume with a name. You wouldn't have to just keep it for Christmas. Oh, it's cleared already. That's amazing. But look at that. Really, really nice creamy head. It's off-white, kind of a tan colour. Yeah. The beer, well, doesn't it look fantastic? It's, it's really not... dark, but it's on the yeah. kind of... What, what colour is that in there? As you say, it's, it's a really, really dark beer. It's not black, though. It looks black in, in, in the camera. No. But it's... So what I try look and at that. do. There, look, look at the colour on there. Yeah, what I try and do is hold it up, try and get it. See that colour there, that little bit there? It's like a really dark beer. That's what it kind of looks like. So it's it's not completely black, but it's got a really deep red to it. Should we get the nose? Yeah, go on. Oh, there's wonderful amounts of chocolate malt yeah, on it. There's roasted malt. It's really chocolatey. Absolutely. Absolutely. In a sweet sense as well. There's that spice there which you would probably expect from a Christmas beer, but it's, it smells it smells wonderful. This smells like a really good beer. Don't, and the quality on it as well. I'm, I'm really liking the head on the beer. Yeah. I've had, Look at that stain there, lovely. lovely. Yeah. Mine. I have had poly pins in the past which they just haven't. They just. You don't. I mean. I mean you just don't so get a head or... Chili Plum Fairy, is it a porter stout or...? Yeah, it's a dark, dark porter or a stout. Still, um... It smells like mm. a stout, I would say. I, my mouth's I watering. Know. I am ready to go, so... It smells really good. Yeah, using the wine brewery. They've got lovely pint glasses, look at that. Isn't that a nice bit of quality there. Anyway, cheers everyone. Cheers. Oh. Wow. Mm. oh. Go on. What are you getting? Just pure and utter niceness. Mm. It's really tasty. Yeah. They're kind of flavours. Oh, it's like the chocolate. Um, a dark raisin. Like it's like dark raisin. There's hints of licorice. Yeah. In there. Oh, around your tongue. That yeah. 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 Um, the dark chocolate malts are wonderfully present in this beer. It's balanced. It's rounded. Oh, it's it's smooth. There's a hint of chili, as That's it says like... in the name, chili plum porter. There's a hint of the chili in there, but it kind of it just tingles your tongue a little bit. It's not. Yeah, it's it's a warm, it's a warming yeah. feel to it. Yeah. But you know, like the bitterness, the bitterness reminds me of after I've drunk coffee, mm. but I can't taste the coffee. Does that make sense? Yes. It's it's a lot sweeter than that. Mm. It's nicer than that. What about the plum? Are you getting any of the plum in there? I think 
if you roll your tongue across your mouth, mm. it's kind of like, you know when you've been eating fruit and that slight acidic feel? Yeah. Sweet flavour? Yeah. I think that might be it. Like the peel, the skin of it maybe, mm. I don't know. But the sweetness, yeah, I'd say that was that. This is top drawer, this really is top drawer. This, um, if you're looking for something for Christmas, this is, I've reviewed, I've had a bit of a problem with the broadband, haven't we? So I have been reviewing Christmas beers, just haven't had a chance to get them up because the files have been so big. Um, this is far and away, far and away the best Christmas beer I've had this year. Far and away. I think the ch chilli flavour kind of warms on you as well. Like I, I'm sure I feel it. Mm. At the back of my throat, definitely. Take loads and then let it warm. It certainly is there, the back of your throat. I don't need much convincing to, to drink loads of beer. <laughs> it's kind of like a really good winter warmer. I would say. Yeah. Right. It's still coming now. It's yeah, it it's come and it builds. Nice and slow. Yeah. It builds it's nicely. There. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That is that is fantastic. It's it's sweet. And one thing I'd like to mention at this point, it's six point eight percent. I was ABV. about to say that it's it's not boozy in any way, no, is it? No, it's not you boozy. You wouldn't know. I would have said this was like. 3.8 to 4.2. Yeah, absolutely. It seems, it's, it's light in itself. Mm. When you're drinking it, it's light, feels light, which is really nice, it's easy, easily drunk. Now, I'm not sure if you tried the Blackberry Stout. That, um, that was the flagship beer from before. No, this is my first wine brewery. I think what they're trying to do is carry on the, the success of the Blackberry Stout. Stout. They brewed again with fruit, mm. add hints of spices, chilli, and they knocked it up. I think the blackberry stout was four something percent. They made this at six point eight percent, and it, it's it's almost Christmas in a glass. Would you say Christmas it's, in a glass? Yeah. In in a, in a drink. Is, in a, what I you would know. want for I a drink. Know. Is it definitely been put down to just Christmas then? Is this definitely the Christmas beer? Because I would say that this is a winter's beer. Mm. I would drink this in February. Uh, well, of course, yeah. Really, January, February, November. It's a really, really nice beer. It's one you'd go back to. It's not one that I would yeah. just pick up at, at Christmas. It seems too, um, too good for that. What Mel's saying is, Miss Hayward, Mrs Hayward, should I say, is... You should brew this all year round, or maybe just the winter season, because it's fantastic. It is really, really nice. Okay, um, I'm just rocking the beer back and forth just to show you the quality of the the, the conditioning of this beer. The the lacing on the glass is wonderful. It's just I'm gonna. It's eight and a half minutes long. I'm gonna ask you to give. I dropped a, mine back and forth, but unfortunately, I don't seem to have very much left. Well, yeah, that's that's it. I mean, that, that just shows how much of a good beer it is. We've got a lot of family coming over from Italy. I am sure they're gonna love this beer over Christmas. Yeah, definitely. Cheers. Cheers. Give it a rating. I would say eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what? I'm gonna join you on that? I'm going to join you on that. I'm going to give it a big, big eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. That is, that is something special. Um, yeah, check it out. Wine brewery, chili plum fairy. www.thewinebrewery.co.uk. You can check out Mrs. Real Ale Guide at youtube.com forward slash Mrs. Real Ale Guide. Myself, well, you're on my channel anyway. Um, my email is reallovegoogle.mail.com. I love your emails. Facebook is facebook.com forward slash realovecraftbeer. And Twitter is twitter.com forward slash today. But thanks for watching. I love your comments. Put them in the comments box. I'll always answer. Pardon Subscribe me. if you like. Pardon her. And cheers.